Well, it's time once again for a new sponsored segment on First and Four. It's called Medical Monday. Each Monday, I'll be talking to one of our sponsors from the medical community about the services that they provide. And my guest today on Medical Monday is none other than Dr. Matthew Tom from West Alabama Urology Associates. Dr. Tom, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Well, let's get right to it. What exactly do urologists do? We treat uh, both benign and malignant or cancerous conditions of the male and female genitourinary tract, which includes the kidneys, the bladder, and the bladder drainage system. All right, and, and what sort of services do you guys specifically provide? Sure. At West Alabama Urology, we have five providers currently. We provide the services that work up and treat those conditions I just described, all the way from infancy to end-of-life care as well. All right. Tell us a little bit about uh, the relationship that you guys have with DCH. Sure. DCH is obviously our partner. It's uh, one of the health providers, the main health provider in the area. We have a great strong relationship with DCH Cancer Center, Center and as well as MD Anderson affiliation. Oh, well, go ahead and, and elaborate on sure. that. What do you guys do with MD Anderson? Sure. MD Anderson is obviously a nationally, internationally known cancer center. They provide up-to-date treatment recommendations for many conditions that we uh, currently treat. Therefore, we have a one-to-one -one contact person to get the latest and greatest treatments for a lot of the conditions that we see. Now, over the years, technology and cancer treatments has changed a good bit. Sure. And, and right now, it seems like robotics seems to be used more and more. Elaborate on that and, and tell us how you use that. Sure. Uh, we're one of the first here at DCH to provide the robotic system. It's a minimally invasive approach for most of the genitourinary cancers that we can treat kidney, bladder, prostate. And it does provide a minimally invasive, non-open surgical approach to these cancers. And what that means for patients is usually a quicker recovery, a better recovery, and gets them back on their feet after their procedures. All right, and you mentioned that it's minimally invasive. That's uh, correct. Go ahead and elaborate on that a little sure. bit. Sure. Whenever you say that, what do you mean? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, general surgery is typically done with an open incision, which gets into the abdominal cavity. Minimally invasive procedures use keyholes or small camera holes in which we use small instruments to do the procedures. That way the patient's morbidity is much less because they're spared an open incision or a larger incision on their abdominal cavity. I guess it's much easier to recover from as it well. It is. Typically the recovery, the shorter stays in the hospital, and like I said, patients are typically back on their feet much faster. All right. It seems like there's a lot of conflicting information out there about who should go uh, to their urologist and get checked out, uh, the colonoscopy, that sort of thing. Sure. Just give us your take on that. Who needs sure. to be going? Who doesn't? What's an age range? <laughs> Good. Uh, it's actually kind of in the forefront right now. The U.S. Preventative Task Force just released a statement regarding PSA screening for men. And there are some conflicting reports. However, the AUA, the American Urologic Association, and most of the national cancer organizations do recommend routine prostate cancer screening for all men at age of 50, but also at the age of 40 for men who are high risk. And those include family members that have had prostate cancer or African American men. All right, and you said routine. Now, how often would that be? Well, it just depends. Uh, typically, it's a yearly exam. However, for men who have a very low prostate specific antigen level in their blood or have a normal rectal exam, they sometimes lengthen those uh, treatments out to one to five years. All right, when should you go in for your first one? Usually at the age of 50 is what is recommended. However, 40 is the recommended age by some cancer organizations, like I said, for men who are at high risk. All right. Anything else you'd like for the folks at home to know? No, I just want to let them know that at West Alabama Urology, we do provide uh, some excellent cutting-edge uh, urologic treatment for men and women all the way, like I said, from infancy to the end of life. All right, Super Doc Tom, thank you for being with us no today. No problem. Thank you for having me. If our sponsor sparked your interest today, then you can give them a call at West Alabama Urology Associates. The number is 205-344-9393. You can find out more about them online at westalabamaurology.com. <clears throat> well, if you've got any vacation time left,